Welcome okay, back. welcome we're back. On we're, yeah. we're on the poo root We're on the Welcome back to the Ned's Classified poo Pood. Um, Let's go. Lockers, okay. This episode is Ned deals with Toot Toot, who's his locker oh, neighbor, the yeah. farter. Toot Toot, yeah. Moe's battles Susie for the girliest locker. Uh-huh. Um, Cookie tries to get to class on time from the locker at the edge of the universe, of the and universe. we invent the mop, mop bucket slingshot. Um, we introduce the weasel in this episode. We introduce Gordy in this episode. We introduce the sports announcers bit in this episode. Ooh. Sweeney, Timmy Toot Toot, Claire Sawyer, future lawyer. So and I think that's people. it. Yeah, a lot gets introduced Scott here. Scott was just like, let's go. Yeah, we're hard. running gags. Get them in there. And, but it, um, it's in, it's crazy. There were so many, but this, they were each so memorable that like you followed and didn't forget, even though they were, I mean, like, Ten of them come in thirty seconds. Yep. That's why. That's why. Like as I've been watching them, I've been writing down like these. Oh, we're introducing that gag right here because they carry through Throughout every the season. season. Like yep. we do this, the things they introduce like stay for every season. Yep. Which just adds to like the hominess of it. Even if you got in on it, like second season, like that vibe of just like having the. Fa- I don't know. You're in on the. What bits. would get you yeah. in? You know, no matter what. Um. Yeah. And then uh, lockers is the second part of the first episode because every episode is actually two full plot lines, which is like yeah. what cartoons do. Um, mm-hmm. And we would shoot both simultaneously. We'd shoot over five days, two episodes. So we were bouncing back and forth. Wait, did we only shoot the first 11 minutes for the pilot? No, I think it was both. Cause I remember lines more than any episode because this was the audition and because it was the pilot. I remember there's lines from these, both these episodes still in my head. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I think we okay. did both for the pilot. It was like a hybrid. We only shot a few of his scenes, right? We didn't reshoot the whole pilot. Like when we, we I just. I think we did reshoot. Yeah, no, we, no, we reshot the whole pilot because the set was different because oh, yeah. we shot it like oh, Nick on right, Sunset right, 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 Sunset right. Gower. I don't know why. I was like, we just shot like different scenes in that. Okay, no, well, no, that no. was my we, memory we... this entire time. <laughs> no, we reshot no the whole idea. thing. That's why no you were a little idea. nervous, baby. Yeah, right? I was like, I already put in the good performance. <laughs> yeah, I already did it. Don't make me redo okay, it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, But great, great classic episode again. I mean, oh, we introduced your wooden locker that then oh. carries oh, yeah. for the rest of the mm-hmm, series is mm-hmm. Moses wooden locker yep. that she made. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't realize, um, and also in this one, we start to see like, this show is very boy crazy, girl crazy. Yes. You know, in a way that I didn't quite remember. But you feel like it's dealing with genders or no, more? No, 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 no. Like, the um, love yeah, the, everybody's after somebody yeah, in like yeah. a, yes. in like a I agree. prepubescent romantic way. Like, oh, let me hold your hand. Let's sit yeah, together. Loomer Let's kiss. Loomer was in love with you. Right? Right? Loomer's in love with you. Lisa Zima's in love with you. I'm going after Susie anybody. Susie, Susie, yeah, <laughs> and anybody, you know, um, and you. Just a like, little thought. <laughs> the Spanish the teacher streets. who kind of oh, yeah. comes later. I yeah. was in love with it's, her. Yeah. Uh, it's like all. Yeah. It is that time though. It's we were sad. that. Kids care like, about that. It's yeah. that time. time. You're yeah. a teenage. You're coming into yeah. being attracted and wanting and being insecure right? and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like uh, programming like that today? Do you feel like that's an undercurrent Ooh. of programming today? Because I don't see enough kids undercurrent, like kid, yeah. kids uh, programming right now. Like I don't see enough children's television to know because it's a really oh, particular yeah. pocket yeah. is yeah. what's being created specifically for kid viewers and mm-hmm. I don't watch it now so I don't, I don't know. I wonder, that's a good question. I know, yeah. I'd be curious. Yeah, for some reason it feels more innocent there than I feel like maybe it could or would now. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Because, I mean, if you look at it, it's very centered around just, like, connections, relationships, this, that, and other. Like, not only deep friendships and intimate friendships, but, like, you know. Getting the girl. Getting yeah. the guy. Getting, yeah. yeah being exactly. Like, get, yeah. And having that, like, passion and moving forward. And I just don't know that that is still as innocent as it was 18 you, you years ago. You feel like it could be detrimental now to not have even, so much. Not even so much detrimental. Just, driven, just that, like, the audience isn't looking through the same goggles. I think a lot of, like young, you know, fetishization or whatever has mm. been done in the last 18 years. It like, I don't know, ramped up for now, me, at like, least on social media. Do you feel like the whole idea of like love in that school youngster setting is like taboo now? No, like, well, oh almost, no. almost. Because I don't know, like, <laughs> it just doesn't feel as innocent to me. I, and maybe social media is a part of it. I, I, right. Like, 
the fetish, fetishization, like you said. Um, I wow, I can't say that word. Fetishization. Fetishization. Fetish, Ooh. Fetishization. It's a fetishization. fetishization. I actually don't know if I'm making that up. I, I yeah, mean, but hey. it makes sense. Right? Um, as long as we understand but, it. But Sorry. this does make me. It makes me want to ask you, like being dudes, we experience the world and everything in a particular way, and like set culture and romance and stuff. Like as a girl even on neds in that time 20 years ago you're saying it felt more innocent which is good yeah like did you ever experience where it crosses over where it's like uncomfortable and not okay um like behind the scenes yeah kind of yeah um so yeah i feel like prepubescent kids are are fetishized even more these days or at least because of social media we're aware of it and um As I grew up, that uh, sort of happened to me behind the scenes. And I think just like a couple, like I just had some trouble with this this director who I felt like I got really close with. And this was like when I was getting like, you know, much older is when I like turned 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it definitely, um, yeah, it, it, it was a terrible experience. I hated that. And... Yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm going with that, but yeah. Um, yeah, there's just this thing that's kind of like been lost. And you know what it is? It's age appropriateness. Right. That's what it is. It was age appropriate and you felt, you felt like it wasn't good, like, I don't know, there wasn't even a thought that it would be something more than what it was. It was right. safe. Right. right. Yeah. yeah there was, was no safe. innuendo. There was yeah. no, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It felt, that. yeah, that's kind of why I want to ask because in my experience, like, Ned's always felt very age appropriate, safe. How everyone treated us on set, even though all sets, your children dealing with adults, your children in an adult world, yeah. adults are who crew these things and who write these things, right? Um, so in any case, you're dealing with them kind of on a different level than normal kids, but Ned's always felt to me like really safe, age appropriate, like no one was getting, it was never getting weird on our set, but I was curious. Uh, no, for ne- you as I mean, a, as, as a young girl, as I, as I, never, never, yeah, never, yeah. never on Ned's, yeah. never on, never on the next show I did, yeah. Aliens in America. As you, never, as you got but older, there have yeah. just been lecherous men, yeah. just uh, you know, sprinkled throughout. I, that. I forgot because it, it never got to a point where I needed to remember it, but I literally hadn't thought of it in in years. And then, kind of watching this back, I got to remember like. I had a stalker at one point. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, like a grown yeah. man, a grown man who would like write me letters and my parents would get them and like they're like over the line. And then when I started uh, showing up for uh, like music events, you know, like public events that people knew I was going to be at, this guy would show up sometimes. Yeah, and I just like, that. Crazy. yeah, yeah you, I'm sure you saw yeah. it. Like he would just show up and be weird and like say hi. But his infatuation with me, a young boy actor, yeah. a child, it's weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's not okay to write weird fan letters to a child that's if right. you're a that's grown ass now, man now though we that's are in this crazy that he would show up we're in this new age where social media exists and if they you can just, just do had a page it. you could just send you a dm and think nothing of it I, <laughs> but he had to no go it's out so true way. he literally wrote a letter <laughs> stamped you know he sent something through the mail like bro no <laughs> yeah that, that's weird that's weird yeah it's but now weird are so much i had forgotten about it i hadn't thought about that in did, years have, now. did have you guys ever felt um i don't know Mm. Like sexualized? Like, no, sexualized or that oh. you had the opportunity to use your position sexually with anybody. Not like saying for, but did, did, <laughs> like, was that open to you on sets? On sets? What, as an actor? You're talking yeah. About? Like, no? I mean, not in any inappropriate way. It's like, there's like romance on set oh, yeah. no, naturally dude, because yeah, you're yeah, yeah. around each other and yeah. you're yeah. vibing. Like, yeah, so yeah. with other actors, like there's just yeah. natural romances. People, yeah. But, I mean, it's but just using, like, no, 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 yeah, no, no. Courting, you, you might yeah. court a yeah. person. Yeah. No, I what want everyone to weird. feel comfortable. No, yeah. you know, like, 100%. I was literally just saying, was there anybody who was willing to like sacrifice them? Do what I, I yeah, know yeah, you guys yeah, always chose the upstanding. I really know. I mean, the world is an interesting place, but I've never had that opportunity. Opportunity. I mean, there are people who are seeking advancement, I guess, in, in any industry or whatever, but no sets that I've been on was that ever like a thing. Yeah, same. Same. And yeah, no, I especially on on sets, 
especially when I was like a lead on any sets, it's like, I just want everyone to feel fucking comfortable. Um, yeah. 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 yeah I just want everyone, like, hey, well, let's all be good and have a good time and like, mm-hmm. let's have it feel safe so we can like work and have yeah. actually get a good job done and be proud of what we're creating. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's not have weird shit going on. Yeah. Even just that chemistry, I don't really feel like romance with co workers is like a. I mean, no, no, sometimes, I mean, well, you, you've had that experience. Well, well you guys I've clearly. had that almost exclusively. Oh, <sighs> yep. Well. <laughs> I <laughs> fall in love on sets. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it's lovely. You know what it's I mean? Beautiful. And it's, it's beautiful. I, I got to try it. I got to try it. Cast, that. crew, whoever you be. Um, I don't know. You're around each it. other. Okay, okay. Right? We, we fell I think in love it's because on it's one of the few places that I feel. Um, safe, comfortable, and almost with an upper hand, mm. right? And like, it is the pool of people where you meet people at work. Like, exactly. I don't, I don't go out, and I didn't even then. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's a safe community. But yeah, I definitely pick from there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, now do, do you feel like your um your search for individuals to um court is easier when you have a position as like a actress on a show? Oh, I think I may have used mine. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can get it, you that role now. It was really no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely <laughs> felt like I could step to guys that I wouldn't normally like. Uh, yeah. On the street, you wouldn't yeah. go up to them and introduce yourself. No, 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 no. But I, I, I definitely felt. Like you see me. Just a couple of times, I just felt like this upper hand thing where it was like, oh, like I'm safe because I'm still one removed from you because there's this upper hand, right? Yeah. I'm number three on the call. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I've used it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not in a, not in like a coercive way. Yeah, but. But just, you, I mean, yeah. you meet a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, for actors, it's like our job. Like, just like in any other job, you're going to meet people around the watering hole and, you know, yeah. it's easier to. <laughs> then to you're going to fuck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> then you're going to fuck That's the way people. it works. <laughs> it's just the way it works. You know? oh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely like, it's a little, it's a little different age now with social media too. Like. Yeah, I've definitely met people just through Instagram because maybe they know me and then we get to, they know like the the public me, but then we get to know each other for real, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. happened. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. 100%. <laughs> my roommate, yeah, my roommate recently was like, man, how, how, how'd, you, how'd, you, how'd, you, how'd you meet these girls? And I'm like, <laughs> Instagram. <but> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry, Yo, man. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. It's We're like all a, it's like a personalized to, bumble or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's exa- exactly. It's exactly. Yeah. We all get to use the cards we have. 100%. Yes. We use those cards, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm lacking in other places, but I can use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a, a piece of shit in other places. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> Lockers, this, lockers, this went, lockers. We're talking yeah, about we lockers. Went, we went way Let's off track. Go. Lockers, okay. Mm. Lockers. Yes. Uh, Great. Farts, lockers. Farts and lockers. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think the description for Timmy Toot Toot was on paper? Oh, the breakdown. I mean, kid who farts. Yeah, it literally had to be one sentence. <laughs> yeah. This kid farts and destroys people. <laughs> and, and this kid through. was like, mm-hmm. "Well, what do you think his audition was?" He just came in and said, "Toot Toot." toot. toot. I mean, that's his. Those <laughs> are his he's lines. He's the one. That was the best. That was the best two I've lines. ever heard. <laughs> great guy. Great I guy. saw him on The Office. <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who? When? Uh, it was like in one of the later <laughs> seasons. Hello. Okay, yeah. no, and he I was like a, in, and I can't, It was I one can't. of the later seasons. He was like interning at The Office. Like it was. No yeah, yeah. way. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I love Hilarious that. bit. I mean, farts are always funny. Farts are amazing. Farts are always funny. We said he released the prisoners and they were doing hard, hard time. Hard time. That was a great line. What a line. That was a great so line. So silly, great dude. Great line. And they were doing hard and time. And they were doing hard time. Dang. Just all euphemism for farts. It's so oh, funny, dude. Oh, so good. And we just the real, like, just dialogue between us about, yeah. <laughs> you know, just the oh, normalcy of, like, the boy-girl aspect of crossing that butt barrier. You know what I'm saying? Together. Right. Together. <laughs> As friends. Nice. As friends. Together. Oh, yeah. That was a great line, too. Um, oh, I laughed. I laughed in this episode because you see me laughing on... Um, new best friends that are girls. I was saying some line and you see me as an actor, like actually laughing. And that made me laugh because this is the second episode. This is literally like our second episode. And that would be a recurring thing on this show is us off camera making the oh. actor who was on camera, camera laugh. laugh. Yeah. yeah. We went out of our we way, went out of our way to, 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 to make yeah. 
the other actor break. I forgot that that was a contest because when I watched the bloopers, I was like unprofessional. And I was doing it the most because you were always like, you. Stop! And I was just laughing <laughs> randomly and I was just like, terrible. Like, dude. <laughs> I, hey, I'm gonna let you guys know. I thought I was being hazed the first time you guys kind of did that because I was like, they're not being professional. <laughs> I'm trying my best. You know, yeah. so. Turns out we weren't being professional, but we weren't picking you <laughs> yeah, out. I we weren't soloing you out. Right. And then we I got it, into it doing the same we thing. We did it today. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, right, you right, definitely right. did. I definitely we, did. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I ate that gosh. Up. Yeah, I mean, it, look, remember Jim J, like, we used to do this thing with the nipples. It'd be like we're pulling our nipples out, we're tying them together. And we'd just be standing there doing that in the background. They had all these things that I wasn't a part of. Of. Yeah, and actually, would we would build a lot of, of jokes. But, like, also, just like, well, you can't be a part of that. <laughs> Dude, do you remember? Yeah, you can't do the nipple yeah. joke. No, it's no, weird. No. It's weird. The saucing thing, though, that was something that <laughs> probably got weird. What was that? No, I didn't like that. I was very offended. I don't want anybody... Touching my nips. Touching my nips. Those are my nips. Wait, so this, like look, so this was amongst sauce. friends. Do that. This, this was amongst friends. This was no adults. This was no adults. This was all kids. This was, I don't know why it came to be, but so, I, I feel like you were instigating it. No though, way. Maybe not. I, I'm, who could it Probably be? Kyle, maybe Rob. No, it was, it was a so Robert Rob. Kyle. That was, it was absolutely. Because I can Kyle. hear him Foss? saying, I can hear him saying, South. Exactly. Because like, dude, I mean, like I was like super Baptist Christian and you know, it just was a little, it was something that Welcome men to Hollywood do together. Kid. I was like, I don't know how I feel yeah, about this. Yeah, saucing but. was this weird thing where you just like, just swiped Sauce. up someone's daddy. Gotcha. <laughs> just like, you sauced me. I probably did. You totally I probably did. sauced me. <laughs> oh my God. No, because I feel like, and I was like, like seven stop. sauce Lindsay. <laughs> no, I probably did because I feel like you probably sauced me and then you were like, well, I'm safe because I'm I a girl like, oh, and you no. can't do it back. And I was Equal like, opportunity. hell no, I'm a feminist. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 I would. Yeah. I also was attracted to you. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's different. We were playing a different. It, it we were playing a long game. game. Totally different we were game. playing yeah. a long game. Yeah. You and I. Damn. You and I played a long, <laughs> different game. <laughs> oh, when so I lost great. you, Daniel, it meant something yeah. different. It meant, than when yeah. 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 No one felt it. It's all about context, guys. I forgot. Right. I forgot about saucing. Saucing. Yeah. Yeah. We there was lots of shit like that. Just shit like you would just like play with each other. One of them. Close pin thing. Yeah, clo sticking a, a clothespin. Yeah, C oh, C forty seven. Dude, and then people didn't know it was. Oh, on you them. would get in trouble because you would send someone onto camera. So oh. and, and with the pin, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this was one of the the just <laughs> dumb little games we would play with each other. Is there were lots of clothespins being used Everywhere, for different things yeah. on set. Um, and you would try and get someone on their clothes without them noticing. Like that was the game. And then try and get more, like stack. Yeah, if you could be there for the whole day, it was pins. like the best. Yeah. But then what would happen is a kid would get got and then we'd go on camera and not know. So you and had then, to, yeah. and then Scott would Costumes get pissed. Mad, Costumes mad, yeah. pissed. So we had to be smart about that game. Dang. Um, another fun one was- They played that way more than me. I just remember it. Yeah. yeah wow. An another fun one was, was, was knocking food out of people's hands. Oh yeah, we did a lot of that. That was- now Going on. Horrible. It was a horrible. <laughs> it, looking back at it, because there's people actually starving. And now, when it first happened to me, like, once again, I, don't I even was mean super that. rigid. Oh, right. go ahead. Oh. Like, I literally just Yo. mean, like, if, you're about what, to. Why would you do Why that? would you? I have to go. I, to, to be fair. It's horrible. Yeah, you're yeah. about to. And I'm sorry. Go ahead. I remember y'all did that in the middle of the hallway to people. Oh. Like, with a full plate of food. It happened to me. I mean, you know, Trump. To be fair, yeah. Scott Fellows started it. Yeah, he would, he would get it. Scott Fellows yeah. started it. I had a plate of food. And he fucking, I was standing next to the trash can and he just smacked it out of my hand into the trash can Dang. and laughed. <laughs> and it, we, we just kept, we kept, we kept doing, doing it. it to each Cause other. what we would say like, oh yeah, how, how's your food taste? Oh, it's pretty good. How does it taste on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, Honestly, I don't think y'all ever really did that to me, but um, once again, just. Once again, you would get Kyle. I would, would get, get Kyle upset. and he would be so furious. He'd be so furious and he would try to wait for me to get the biggest plate so he could get his revenge. Oh, man. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That's, I actually am You also had to be careful with Kyle. Like, he, you, you couldn't just. You, you couldn't. Kyle was sensitive. <laughs> he was sensitive. He was sensitive. Yeah, Bully yeah, Loomer's a sensitive boy. He was sensitive He man, would man. take it personally. Yeah. Rob was a savage. Rob was Coconut a Coconut Head was an absolute, absolute savage. savage. Yes. Just would take geek. nothing personally. Nothing. nothing. And, and if nothing he did take sacred. it personally, he would internalize it and fucking get you. Oh, oh yeah. but like yeah. get you in a way that you're like, I will remember this way <laughs> later than I should. Yeah, like, Rob was oh a savage. Yeah. He was the best at I mean, he was just the funniest I and, just and naturally, the deepest yeah. on the on the jokes and the getting. Like he was serious. Yeah. He played Wait, the game for real. Oh yeah. no. Okay. I'm thinking of a anyway. We gotta have him coming. we gotta have him on it. I would sure, love to that. Yeah.
People ask me, like, who was the funniest on set? And I'm like, Rob fucking Pinkston, Coconut Head. Could not keep it together. No. Just had several. Uh, uh, and it's got, it gets scary after you start laughing on, like, two takes. Because you're like, I know this isn't fu- funny anymore. But, but I, I can't, can't stop I laughing. cannot stop, yeah. That's something every actor knows about is, like, sometimes... Something starts genuinely funny, but then you just can't stop laughing. And like, it's fun and funny and feels good. But after a certain point, like you're there to make a show and crew's waiting and you're like, it's kind well, of like a panic. You, you like, can't, no, no, no. And then the I'm more you think about it. Laugh. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> that, I, yeah, we'll talk about that. That, that. that moment happened to me so hard with Rob Damn. Um, yeah. in the tryouts episode. but And he wouldn't let up. No. He wouldn't stop. No. You wouldn't stop. No. And then you get then you get adults. Like most of the time, because we're acting on a show and there needs to be a certain vibe, us as kids are getting talked to in a particular way that you normally wouldn't as kids. Like with adults, like we're getting talked to with respect and right all this stuff. When we got too laughy or too giggly, that's when the adult voice came out. That's when we got reminded we are kids, I feel like. That's mm-hmm. when they're like, All right, guys, like All right, guys, guys. <laughs> We need to actually do work here. Mm-hmm. Like that's when it came out, and I'm guys, like, "Guys, oh. come on, come on!" <laughs> <laughs> I can still hear Scott. Oh my gosh! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's you didn't really. Times. Did you have like laugh attacks? I don't. There were a couple moments, but uh, no, I was really rigid, man. Like I this like meant a lot to me, like to learn <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's like I was the only person with serious there. Of course, of course, we all cared about it. Are you it, but... kidding me? You were sending people on the screen with clothespins. A little bit, a little bit, you know. That's them. That's them. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I took it very seriously, and you know, I'd never wanted to um, to fail or not produce. Uh, yeah. So I, I just tried to like that's why you don't see me in many of the outtakes just because I felt like you know it's true like, yeah. yo, your life's on the line you get cut at any moment you came in here as like a you know wow. a replacement as oh, well so, so you, you really carried have to... that through the you carried that complex little little bit little yeah bit. no I have to say you were always we were always asking for sides but I always I relied on my photographic memory so I was like Same. I'll look at it once and be okay yeah and you had these monster paragraphs and you'd always come in and be like. No, 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 I'm good. I don't know. I don't need, like, you do that to, yeah. like, the script be supervisor. Because yeah. already yeah. running. And it was already running. And then, because you weren't just with the lines. You had an entire physical character oh. to portray. And yeah. voice. And and something yeah. physical every, like, oh, that yeah. was just was part of you to, as a... Yeah. And, it, I mean, that 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 was a lot. It required but you always focus came and flexibility. Like, I was like, as long as I'm prepared and I burn this into memory, I burned everyone else's lines into my memory, then, you know, all of these actions that are attached to this character, you know, I'll be able to to get on through it. You know, random right. technology. Like, and the words weren't just simple words. Uh, like, no. No. there's so much. I mean, all this new tech that's coming out, and I've never heard these words before. I remember when we first read the script, and I was like, um, the Wi-Fi isn't working. And you laughed, and you're like, Wi-Fi? It's called, like, it's Wi-Fi. And I was like, I, I literally didn't know. I'm sorry, I'm learning. It's new. It's, it's new, new technology. Yeah. <gasps> um, yeah, you, you're a pro, dude. You were serious. Yeah. Yeah, you had we, huge paragraphs, too, though. Yeah, you're, but, you're to the camera stuff. I always was like, yo, this kid. Yeah. But I, was, I like, you yeah. just all, depended on my photographic memory. I would also, read it, like, right before before filming, mm-hmm. and it would stick. It would it still kind of they changed the script. And then, too. Dev, you were always involved in like it wasn't like one-off scenes. Like I had a lot of like one-off scenes, but like yours were like starting at this part of the hallway yeah. and then walking through the cafeteria and having yeah. all of this other action with other people happen. Yeah, and like still having those big fat paragraphs. Yeah, and the timing all like that, that was a lot. Yeah, I had. I mean, it's like Ned's. Ned's helping. It. Ned's mostly overlapping in everyone's story because right. that's the point is everyone's coming to him for tips. So he interacts with everyone on their little journeys. I also forgot just the most innocent and genuine, obviously, that we asked you for tips. Tips. Huh. I need tips. tips. That line I totally, was recurring. I, I, yeah, I, I just totally Yeah, I kind of forgot that. that too. Like the moments where I literally, Ned is like looking like, thinking of them on the spot. I forgot that. that and like, Mo's like traded you something for tips. Like if you'll do, like it, yes. it was just a currency there. I did forget you know? that. Yeah, that it's like, hey, I'll do this for you if yeah. you write my, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. There's so much of the show that I kind of like forgot the dynamic yeah. on. 
Um, uh, you need tips, and I'll be back. I promise. Mm-hmm. Like, da, 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 da. I'll get you. I'll get you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just gotta. Da, 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 and da, da, da. it helped convey to kids that hey, you can think through things, and it'll be all right. You know, you ha- you can advocate for yourself and just come and, up with and a you can, solution. You can come up with some tips that then don't work, and then you gotta oh, iterate try again. on it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not always gonna work, but like, let's try and come up with some solutions. Let's try these things. Tips were usable at AF. The, there's one yeah. in this lockers episode. Like, people ask me too some some of the time, like. Were any of the tips like actually like good or usable? And some really were. Uh, one in this one was the one turn. The one on turn your on locker. the locker. Yeah, I did that. Put in, in your school. first two. I did too. You preset your first two numbers so that when you get to your locker, you just do one turn. Yep. That was mm-hmm. in there. That's a mm-hmm. solid tip. Yeah. I use mm-hmm. that in my life. Dude. Yeah. Football locker room. That was that was always always Shoot. my stick. Yep. And yeah. my other locker, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't risk it because I felt like somebody could come by and just do a couple turns and get it. But yeah. I mean, there were valid. Um, yeah, there's valid in there. tips in there. So, lockers episode. You you ended up having a battle with Susie Crabgrass, right? right? I forgot so, that that rivalry started so soon. Same. I forgot that her quest. I I, I kind of forgot Christian that that Serato, was her. Shout plot. out to her too. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, girl. She, she, she did Selena, man. Oh, she killed no. that. Netflix. Woo. Walking wow. Dead. Walking Dead. All of it. She's doing great. Skills. Amazing. And she got her like a she got a she baby, got a baby now, yeah, right? She's, a mom. Oh, she's doing everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we started that rivalry so soon i remember also just like feeling so cool because that glass locker was going to be like knocked into and like there was a chance that i could be hurt and i was just like oh no i'll be on it uh, yep. like no it's gonna come off like you know what i mean like you just feel this extra intention like this. the stunt because i'm things, fragile things you know? get more serious on yeah the stunt. Like, there's a stunt I know. Everyone get careful. And yeah. just like that, not knowing what it was going to be and having to make it work. Like there was a ton of that. There were, it was like one take. You can't reset that. Nope. And then it, I laughed so hard that they kept in. So Moses, Moses creates this glass, shiny locker. Uh, it blinds. It looks like heaven. It blinds Gordon. It was it looks a like really he- cool. <laughs> That's another great line. Nice. It, it's like heaven. Yeah, it's like heaven. In a locker. <laughs> Marquise nailed it. Um, but uh, but someone, Gordy bumps into the locker or whatever. And breaks it, yeah. Breaks it, smashes it, and all the stuff falls out. Uh, it cuts away and then cuts back to and you. And the stuff is still. And someone is behind the locker pushing, pushing the out, out the books. It's so hilarious. That made me laugh. So no. hard. It's so when funny. I saw that, it's so absurd. When I saw that take place, I was like, this is the perfect show to be a part of. The fact that Scott was okay with all this slapstick stuff that doesn't happen yep. in the real world. Yes. Yep. It's like, okay, yep. it's still it's falling. Silly. You can clearly yep. tell someone's yeah. behind it. You can it. tell someone's back. They're shoving the books like violently. That made me laugh so hard. Yes. And yeah. how like all the dummies like make them the faker the better. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The faker the better. Yeah, and that gets set right here, like first episode. Like we live in hyper reality on yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit is gonna be ridiculous. Uh, mm-hmm. That definitely made it like stupid fun to work oh, yeah. on. Oh yeah. Because we were always doing. I forgot how many gags, how many stunts. The mop bucket slingshot. Mop bucket slingshot uh, was in this episode. Yeah, yeah. you getting sweat through your yep. your, your through hair afro, like. Yeah. Every episode is just chock full of like these crazy gags. It's like embellishing reality, you know? Yes. And because uh, Scott Fellows, our producer, had worked on Fairly Odd Parents, all these other like um, cartoon shows, he really he really allowed his imagination to just run wild mm-hmm. and say, no, we can pull this off. I don't care how fake it looks. Let's make it happen because these people exist in this universe. It's just awesome and zany all the time. Mm, yes. Let's make it work. Mm-hmm. So. The showdown when uh, uh, Susie and I were going to open our lockers. Yes, like that. The, the duel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, this this introduced uh, Moses' competitiveness, which like carries throughout the series. Right. I, I completely forgot like what an existential crisis that she leaves herself with <laughs> the whole like, I just... I just self sabotage is what I really wanted but because it I felt wanted so to good. win. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like Ned points out, he's like, I thought you wanted like to make girlfriends, and you're like, oh, I just wanted to beat. Susie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot about right? that. I just wanted to win, dude. We, I feel like we're all a little bit like that, anyways. Though. Yeah, competitive. Oh, yeah, ultra competitive. Well, you know what? True learning starts when the spirit of competition ceases. Mm, go hey. on. Somebody important said that. Go on. Someone important. Yeah. And um. That is something that I think I have hugely left behind in my 20s. Nice. Yeah. Is that competitive thing. Because yeah, why? Now, I'm here to compete with my self, self yesterday. Yes. Yeah. You know, I want to be better today than I was yesterday. And that's all that really matters because we're all in our own different walk yeah. in this life. Mm-hmm. And things are going to come to people. Mm-hmm. And that's awesome for them. And the things that are for you are for you. So just yeah. 
full force into whatever you choose to do. I think there's, yeah, not, not in this it isn't show, but I, I also think there's a big difference between competition and comparison that I don't think people mm, always get right. Yes. <laughs> um, I get that you're in competition with that, but you know, little spirit of competition is, is really great. That's actually one of the things that I love about Mo is so much, you yeah. know, it's why she runs with you guys. Like she's just like, Especially given the right circumstance, like I still like to compete when it's like a safe, like a game, right? Like, oh yeah, let's yeah. Let's make a safe space to be competitive with yeah. one right, another. Right, 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 right. Like, um, exactly. And humans being their optimal selves, like when you gamify things yes. and be like, okay, no holes barred. You fight your hardest, and I'm gonna fight my hardest, and we see who comes out on top. You know, in this game, though, like, yeah. all right, don't attack to yourself to it too much. Yeah, there has to be a set safety for it. Humans can do some pretty <laughs> awesome LOL. things under those <laughs> circumstances. But, uh, I'm joking about did, it. <laughs> did you and Christian have any competitiveness in real life? Um. <laughs> no. Next question. No, 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 I mean... I no, I we were we were fantastic friends. She was the girl there. Yeah, and um, there started to become like more cast members like later on, and I think, I think, it just I don't know. It just we we kind of fell out of that like really good friendship that we had. It just it it wasn't a great mix. Everybody together. Yeah, and um, yeah. So I absolutely loved her. We just for no for no other reason kind of just stopped hanging out we kind of just grew grew yeah. apart and um but yeah she's lovely amazing always came to set and made it a good time and yeah just lovely amazing yeah i think she's super talented and you know has has done a lot of good stuff since uh since nads her and her mom like they were just always i don't know they were a treat I, yeah. on set they were great yeah okay. yeah she always she hadn't really she was the first one who introduced me to like adult joke she was like She's like, like, what is that smell? Close your legs, Lindsay. And I was like. <laughs> well then. Oh All right, Gretchen. What? Oh my God. <laughs> what does that mean? I was like, what? Oh my God. What? Like she was just a oh little, she was, re she was like, she had an edge. She was tough. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah. And you know, and I was just this like. <laughs> <laughs> she was always cool. Like she was, yeah. she was always cool. Cool. She always was ahead of everybody cool. else. She, always yeah. cool. Always cool. Yeah, yeah. She did feel cooler than us. Yeah, pretty just often. for sure. Always. Uh, Theo, who plays uh, one, plays the crony bully sewing club on on Ned's. Uh, he pointed out something to me that I was unaware. Like to me, I'm like, yo, we were all like homies on set. We're all great. Like it, it wasn't competitive. Like we're all friends. It's all good. He's like, yeah, for you. He's like, you had a contract. He's like, I was a recurring. Like, he's like, I could be replaced. He's like, every time I was on set, he's like, I'm a little nervous that like. He's got to beat the other day players and stuff. Not that he's got to oh. beat them. I guess not competition, but a little internal neuroses around mm. like, I wasn't safe. He's like, I always felt like I had to nail it. But you felt that too. Like you felt it anyways yeah. too. It's like, we all felt, yeah. no, we do need to, we wanted to nail our jobs. But yeah, he just pointed out like, not for me, man. He like, didn't feel secure. Yeah, he was wow. like, never. He's like, a, I always felt like life was on the line. Hey, like yeah. a different retelling of the war. You were like a general, and he's like, no, I was on the front line. I was in the trenches, yeah, You don't man. understand. Yeah, Dang. yeah. I thought I thought that was interesting. Hmm, interesting. I was like, we were all homies. It was a family. We were all smooth. And he's like, and of course it was. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just didn't want to like not be a part of the family anymore. That's all. Yeah, you know, like I, I, recurring on Pretty Little Liars. It, you know you just feel really lucky for everything that you do. Right. Like I, you know, yeah. Right, yeah. But you I wasn't at an not... age where I was trying to make like foundational friendships and like this was oh, going to yeah. be the craziest FOMO that I've ever felt. And right. I feel like I'm not on this rocket ship that everybody else is on, right? right. Like that wasn't hmm. the case for me. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because I don't feel like we felt competition amongst like the guy, like the guys. The girls. I, I didn't. Don't, I, I didn't feel competition really amongst our I actors. Didn't. We were all we were all family. Yeah, yeah. Like we were all. I agree. Working I amongst agree. each other and working together and having fun. I, I'm blown away in every episode I've rewatched at fucking Kyle, dude. Yo, what about him? Just he's so good and funny and yeah. 
committed and like ridiculous. He's no, a he maniac. Was perfect dude. to be able to play that bully character, but still be hilarious. Like when he would go into his little asides to you, where he's super in love and whatnot. Like I was like, who better than this guy? Yeah, I right? know. Yeah, I just Kyle Swan, man. Kyle yeah. Swan, great actor. Great he actor. Stopped acting. Went on to go get a, like biology. a double major in marine biology and film. He's lived internationally for 10 years. Like he doesn't even, he left it. He Where's pieced he, out. And he's then in I'll, England now, right? England now, was in New yeah. Zealand, France. Um, we gotta have we gotta like zoom him on the show. We should oh, do it. That we would be. Do it. I you guys want us to bring Kyle into the show, man? Yeah. Yeah. We gonna we gonna do it at some point. Cause yeah, watching his stuff, like I'm like just I forgot how freaking funny that dude is. Yeah. Yeah. And then also just big. He was like a. I, it, it, he was, he was super the athletic. One, right? Yeah, he was super super athletic. He wasn't ripped like Austin Butler, but he was that. He that was guy. Big. He used to he run big. track. He was. He was. A and he was just like man. salt, like solid. Yeah. Like, he was yeah. just one of those and, like and passionate. Mm -hmm. So you combine all those things together. Oh yeah. Like crazy. You How's gonna break crazy eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to make him <gasps> mad and be alone in a room. <gasps> you guys. <laughs> What's up? Remember when we used to do this? <laughs> Oh, oh dude. shaky face? With shaky face. I remember that. Shaky face. And we would take the pictures. I probably lost half my brain cells from oh, doing yeah, shaky yeah. face. Bro. You and Rob put a picture of yourselves doing that on a birthday shirt for me, on a, on a shirt for my birthday. Wow. I love this. It, I yeah. can't even do it now because of like the was, horrible yeah, headache. No, yeah. it hurts. But Rob and I, yeah, we like Rob, I think Rob started it. We would do shaky face, which is you shake your face to where your lips move, but then you take, we had, Freeze, we, had we didn't have phones, but I mean, we had cameras. Like, unhinge their jaws. Well, yeah. yeah, you just get real loose and then you click, <laughs> and then you take a picture and then you look like Wait, a, can, like can, a can, can we shake our faces right now? Can we like pull a freeze frame? You guys want to try shaking face real quick? Then shake your face. <laughs> oh no, it hurts. <laughs> freeze frame. How do we do that? Our so brains kind of serious. Can't do it I'm anymore. Too caffeinated for that. Hey. Ugh. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle was athletic, but Austin. But Austin Butler had the abs. Right? Austin Butler. Yeah. Wow. He, his career. So he started Plus. as. Uh, background like, on Neds. Background on Neds. Dude, yeah. my dad like he, worked, and then he became a featured extra. Yeah, featured, yeah. Like my, my then, dad was like the first one to kind of give him an audition to be like a featured extra. Your dad? On the project. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, him and his his mom was, yeah. as well. Rest oh, her soul. But. And my mom, we introduced him to our manager, and that was his first manager for a while. Oh, dope, dope. That's yeah. cool. And then, like, I mean, just incredible. Incredible, like rise, energy, like alignment, so, so cool. He was and so wild. Ready. All I remember him is, I don't know if it was a tracksuit or like that blue shirt where he had like had the doves on him. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, vaguely. Something. You probably remember it a lot more because he's the dreamy guy on set. Because he was so set. dreamy, yeah, yeah. even at right. twelve years old. N no. <laughs> no. 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 Not from. Not from me. Okay. Really. Okay. Austin, I don't. No, she liked me, Daniel. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> dude, oh, yeah. she liked. Give, give me the, the funny, short, short funny stocky guy. guy. Like, that that was really wild. funny looking. Hold on. I, I don't like. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Blondes. Blondes oh. for me are a little too like. He was like mini Brad Pitt. He was like now, golden. He and dyed his hair. Yeah, but and, like yeah. I don't know. Glorious, glorious human. Now him as Elvis though. Do you like like him as Elvis? I, mean, I did not to. watch Elvis, but oh, the gotta, interview gotta that I saw it. of he his nailed was it. You gotta stunning. see it. He stunning. He is so he's such a he's so beautiful. He oh. puts in the work. It's so beautiful. He's so good. skilled. I think oh, Denzel so Washington good. got him the yeah. job. Like he worked in a play with like I'm like dude. dude he's so good. He Boss works Lerman, he's and, like, and he's not good by accident. He works no, his he fucking ass off. Yeah. Yep. I remember a couple years after Ned's, I was at Coachella and. I fucking look over and it's Austin. With Vanessa Hudgens? And he was there with Vanessa, with Vanessa who I was Huggins. friends with, but yeah. like I, I hadn't seen him in a while. And yeah. then to see him like at Coachella, like vibing with people I know. Glorious. And yeah. having a beautiful time. Like I, I remember just like seeing him across the crowd and him and I both being like, what? And just like hugging each other. It was beautiful. Dude. It was beautiful. Wait, do you guys remember, wasn't he dating a girl who was like his carbon copy yes. blonde? And at one point. Like, oh! Yes. When they would walk yes. into a party or something, and they would always just be like <laughs> yeah, holding each yeah. other. Yeah, so Austin like had this weird topper. golden glow. Yeah, they were like they were a like cake they were like Barbies. They were like cut out of Barbies. They were they were like made up. Like, uh, other and then they would just yeah. like grace us Austin with their was golden and flowing feather. Yeah, and golden so hair was she. Her and name abs, yeah. And then he met um, Emma Lou. Emma Lou, who Emma was Lou. also wow. just like 
Yeah. Young, but then just golden oh, and golden. Tan. Yeah. They, they were, they were, yeah, like. Do weird. we still have crushes on them? I'm attracted Probably. to both of them. Yes, yeah. still. I'm attracted to I'm both of them. I'm going to get there before you do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should do it. Meet you at the top. <laughs> That's great. I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Uh, funny, man. How the go mighty have fallen. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway. Dang. And I'm sure he had a lot to say. I, 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 I wish I would have spoken with him more. But he was the kind of guy who could kind of just get by on the aesthetic. He's like, I'm here in the room. You're but, gonna fill me in the room. And yeah, we that's would, his vibe him, yeah. too. Like he's just. I think he's just a very soft spoken. Speaks when he needs to. Like when he's he not. To, yeah, he's yeah. not a talkative dude. Yeah. I, I, that I remember back in whatever. Yeah. But he had just this real calm vibe. Yeah. Mm hmm. It was unlike any of us. <laughs> yeah, we were yeah. maniacs. <laughs> with, we were maniacs. With bad genes. <laughs> we were funny looking short maniacs, I guess. No, right? I was into it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You got you got taste. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I literally was just like, give me attention from any direction. And you picked Devin over Austin. Who wasn't Butler. gonna give me attention? Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's probably I was gonna. <laughs> I was, I was gonna. gonna, and I did. <laughs> That's very true, but you had all these side pieces, like at fit, like you were dating the entire soccer team of that show, Katya <laughs> and Francesca and, oh and Jessica Williams, who Jessica is Jessica Williams. Absolutely. You dated Jessica Williams? No, no, no. no, no I was about no, to say because I saw she was just always around with Katya. Did you? Jessica Williams, she and she's huge now. She's, she's I love that Kitty Cutting Project. HBO. She's amazing. She was the first girl to shoot me down. <gasps> Now she was older than me, and I did not have a chance. What but is she? I, because She's of this proximity, is she? She She's is like one year older than she us. She was just way bigger, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was smaller Jessica than Williams, her. Jessica Williams, obviously, time. he still harbors some stuff still, about it. Wait, wait, wait. You girl, slid in her girl. DMs like recently? Well, yeah, because she used to hang with your sister a lot, right? They were like yeah. really good friends. Well, no, no, no. Really it Katia. wasn't recently. And Jessica Williams, Jessica oh, and I were Katia, in acting that's class what together. You Katia was really Katia close to my sister, wow. right? And Francesca, and Francesca. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're, we're all podcast listeners. We're also referencing. This was like a Nickelodeon show that was on for a little bit. They they were like uh, soccer girls. And I yeah. just remember Frankie oh, Mallory, uh, Joe, describing it to Malice me Wood. as a Sex in the City for teens. Oh, all right. right, go on. <laughs> um, but wait, tell me more about the sliding in Jessica Williams DMs. Well, I didn't know her as Jessica Williams. I didn't know who specifically she was, but uh, I really just gravitated to her and just thought, hey, this is this is a young lady that I could, you know, access. We're both on TV, and I'm like, this is my destiny. I got to get with one of these hot chicks from one of the other programs or whatever. Um, and <laughs> I yeah, I, I just reached out, and I think it was like MySpace at the time, oh. and it was just like a definitive no. I just remember that. She was just like, yeah, not at all. Like, no, this is not, we're not going to play that game. Wow, I so, love wait, it. Wait, did she know Self you? Self-respecting so woman. For, so never having met you. Well, no, no, no. I had met her through like, mm, was it not Malise? Was it was Mallory Joe? I think was one of the. I think it was like three main characters on the. It was Gotta Kick It Up was like the show. Okay. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I I knew one of the other young ladies a little bit more, and I hung out with Francesca like way more than yeah. uh than her. But I was like, yo, I'm gonna slide in her DMs, and it was just like. Because I, 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 I mustered she up a lot of strength so to try it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure that Good she doesn't you. even remember this moment. Probably not. But it was, it was pivotal for me. It was growth Love for me. That. It was growth. Because it, it wasn't um, a legit heartbreak because it's like, oh, if you did, I'm out of here. But yeah. It was an ego break. Yeah. Deeply. <laughs> yes, I'm broken still. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Yeah, the, you, you hold on to those. <laughs> you hold on to those when you put it out there and they're just like, And nope. see, that's why I never do. A strong <laughs> no. So you got hard pass. By any any Jessica heartbreak Williams. for you guys? Yeah, I got a hard pass. It was I mean, a hard pass, but I, I admired her for it because I was like, "Yo, she, this is the way the world the, works." Yeah, no, she's a self-respecting woman. Because my fairy tale was not her fairy tale. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah right, you were right, not right. in the same reality. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, we were friends with them for like a little while, and then her and I ended up in acting class together for a little while. Mm -hmm. Um. And then she moved to New York, and then next thing I know, I'm driving down Sunset Boulevard, and she is on a billboard the size. I mean, it's on the entire Sun's, building, yeah. and yeah. it wasn't a normal billboard. It was a eight-story building, <laughs> and it was Jessica, and I was like. Wow. Whoa, what? dude. I sent her a photo. I was like, yo, this is wild. Like, this is right by my house. You're the size of a building. Like, congrats. This is amazing. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, she got picked up by Jon Stewart, man. That's oh, how she, was that that's, the Yeah, that, that was, was like a move. big start where she got picked up by The Daily Show. Mm -hmm. So cool, wow. man. To learn under to learn with Jon Stewart, like, I bet that'd that's be great, amazing, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool to see, like, you know, uh, the kid acting pool is pretty small. Like, Hollywood in general is pretty small, a lot of overlap, but especially the kid version of it, I feel like we all knew each other, Disney, Nick, whatever. Mm -hmm. If you're a kid actor, you kind of overlapped, and it's wild for now 
20 years watching where everybody go, sort of yep who leaves it who finds other passions yeah yeah uh, who burns out? Who makes it through in different ways? Like it's like what, what a school. End up it's on. almost like its own little kind of school, you know. And you kind of like, hey, wonder what happened to this guy. And so yeah, I was interested in seeing the story. Yeah, we should unfold. have a super weird and toxic uh, child actor, you know, reunion. Reunion, right? <laughs> Turn up. Sounds awful. It no, actually that, sounds awful. I mean, yeah, sounds like so much ego and personality that like in rehab. one room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's just rehab. Yeah. No, oh, that's fine. <laughs> right. yeah, take it from me, guys. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, lockers. Yes, lockers. Oh, so Cookie, I remember my character had to go to the edge of the universe, and he was super That I frightened. loved, I, I thought that was so clever. Like, that really got me as, like, yeah. being super clever. I loved the and graphic on that. Same. Oh, yeah, and yeah. that set up another line that I thought was so funny was Coach Durga, played by Kim Sava, I don't care if your locker is on the, the planet. ice planet of yeah. Hoth. Hoth. Yes. And they hit the like Hoth. delay. Echo. Yeah. Uh -huh. The delay, uh, boy. Damn. You are weak. Me laugh. Yes, yeah. and that. Yeah. You're weak. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just laughs. Yeah. She just belittles you, boy. And then yeah, goes, ah. Bruh. Bruh. I loved I loved that. You You're know, weak. I had to do push-ups there, like for that scene or whatever. Wait, and I were remember you I nervous? practiced push ups. Yeah, no, no, you He definitely you was it? nervous. You practiced it in the school. School room. Room. Yeah. Right. yeah, I was there just doing push-ups. I got to do these push-ups. Right? Yeah. They're going to think yeah. I'm a weakling. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's yeah. like, okay, that's the whole character. You got to be weak. Yeah, you got to be cookie. You got to actually don't do the push-up well. Yeah. Do it poorly. That's yeah. correct. So that was that. Yeah, that was pre-football for you? Uh, well, like I mean, I was season, playing, or you were already in it? I was playing. Yeah, no, I was playing Pop Warner football already. Yeah. So I, yeah. I still just wanted to beef up, you know, and be ready. Yeah. Dang, because I always had this kind of feeling like, oh, people are going to always think I'm just a nerd, you know, and da 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 And that was just like a, that was a, a thing that was in the back of my mind. So going into second season, like, I started really trying to, like, work out a whole bunch. I mean, we all kind of, kind of did. We all wanted oh, to Oh, I rounded fit. out a little bit for a while. Oh, you rounded out? Oh, She's like, I'm yeah. just going to eat. Yep. I'm just, I don't <laughs> know what body and metabolism is yet. I'm just going to do this. Um... But yeah, I mean, yeah. I was, I was, you have crafty on set. So I was just oh, eating like hard. cheese quesadillas and cookies and soda all day. Bro, so at a day. certain point I had to go, oh, maybe I should just, I don't have to do much. I just got to stop doing intake. that. Stop all the intake. Doing that. So much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I wasn't overly aware of it at the time. When did you realize you will not be classified as a nerd forever? When did I realize I wouldn't be? Hmm, that is an interesting question. You, which people mean, are actor, still or? learning it. Yeah, yeah, people, people are, are still, still just learning that cookie's out. hot. Yeah. Uh, and but, he, you've been hot for a while. You yeah. shot up like at like 17. I know. Yeah, like, yeah, it was like yeah. one year after and, Ned's, and we see Daniel, and he's just like tall and muscular and gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People see us quick. like then and now, it's like, oh, I oh, see okay, it. oh yeah. okay. And the, dang. Who right? is that? <laughs> Whoa. Exactly. No, really, though. Transformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you transformed pretty quick after Ned's, I feel like. You just became like. And it was it was oh, easy boy. for me because the character was so locked into this uh like it's like the Steve Urkel kind of effect. Yeah. You know, all I have to do mm -hmm. is take the glasses off and then I instantly look that Oh much my gosh, cooler. I loved I loved that episodes of Family Matters. I loved oh, yeah, they were great. Becomes, oh my gosh. Cool. So cool. I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah. I wasn't overly aware of it at the time, like kind of how you can get kind of stuck into a role. Ned was cool enough. But one thing that when I look back, I'm, I'm like, that's not a good movie for me, was I did this movie right after Ned's Shredderman. Shredderman. Mm -hmm. And that was like through Nickelodeon. They were like, maybe going to start doing movies the way Disney Channel did. So it was like, hey, this is a good opportunity for you. But I played like a big dork, like a huge dork, like a over the top cookie dork. Yeah. And like looking back, I mean, I did it because like, yeah, let's do a movie. Yeah, it's fun. And I met cool people, right? All good. But like looking back, it's like, that's not a cool role for me. Like, that's not a good move Transition. coming off of Ned's. Like, yeah. yeah, that's not the right image you want to put in people's head. Because then, honestly, I, I got cast a lot. Like, as like a huge dork in it's Greek. I was a I was a nerd. Like, <gasps> you did Greek? Yeah, I did the last oh, season. And I was like no a way. recurring pledge. Yeah. Mm. And again, I was a big, I was like a big dork. Yeah. And it's, it was so strange to me. For years, I was like getting cast as that. And I'm like, I don't even think this, that's yeah. like my type. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I guess I wasn't, I wasn't edgy enough to be like the cooler hot guy. So yeah. then I, I just kept getting cast on the other side. Mm. I feel you. Yeah. I got cast as a lot of athletes. <laughs> and I think we know what that is code for. <laughs> Broad shoulders. Yes. Dang. Yes. Dang. Yep. 
Yep, yep. <laughs> Cut my mom open because of these shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. They got caught up in there. Damn. Weight of the world, baby. Well, I am, <laughs> I almost died because this head was so big. Dang. So, almost well, got stuck in I there. I can vouch for that. <laughs> Oh. And that's hey. our show. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Good stuff, guys. That's our show. That's well, the end of the yep. Ned and Classified Podcast. See you that's the next end of the podcast. The, 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 what was it called? The Ned Clip Pod? How did we call it? The, the, Neassified. The Ned Pod. Ned Neassified. Pod. Ned. Yeah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's a different uh, show right there. Me. Whatever it is, it's the end of it, guys. Me Posugu. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode. If you want more content, if this wasn't enough for you, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon to get all the bonus goodies.